The redevelopment in Brickfields may spell a dead end for the Indian traders in the area because of increasing rentals. Did you have to pay before? How much did you have to pay before for the is very high. It's about nearly about 10,000 10, to 15,000, you know. So you see the whole shop means is about 10,000. Most of the makan shops and then the other side they have the frame shops. They have all been complaining. They have affected the business about 50%. Uh, how the one-way road affect the people? The How's the one-way road affecting the people? Yeah. Um, parking is a big problem. Okay, so people are going round and round, and traffic is getting congested because of that. Uh, so people will not uh, stop to do any shopping. It's becoming a bit difficult because it's um, um, they, they, they can't stop and shop. It's very difficult, and there's not not enough parking in the yeah. trains. How much has the rental gone up? Um, at least thirty percent for sure. At least 30% so, uh, the rental rise, is it based on the business side? Yes. Um, I think anyone who opening up restaurants would be paying higher. But anything else, um, I think it's pretty much the same at this point. But I would think there might be some changes once the roads have really cleared up. Yeah. So what about property values? Does it gone up and how much? Property values have definitely gone up. <laughs> okay. Um, so I started central for one. Uh, I think up to a few years ago, uh, actually no, I won't say a few years ago, uh, la last year, okay? Last year, as far as I know, units are still going to 600 plus. Now, owners are keeping it to sell for 900. In fact, the cheapest that I've come across there is 750 at this point. Uh, so, how does the development affect the businessman or you as a real estate agent? Actually, I don't think it's really going to affect anyone who asks me only because uh, as a real estate agent I think people are still buying so it's actually not going to affect us because it feels already centralized and people know that when they buy a lot of uh, Indian expats have moved into Brookfield so they are renting regardless because companies are paying and this is very very central a lot of good businesses are here Maxis is here Shell is coming up here CIMB head office is coming here so business is going to go on People need to stay around here. Has the rental gone up? Rental, uh, at least um, 28 to 30 percent has, has been increased. Is it based on the property? Yes. Talking about property value, okay, let's take for example the last court condo. Um, just two years back, uh, down the road, uh, Villa Scott units, the big units were being sold at around uh, 380 uh, to 400. And this year, it's gone up to 500,000. So there is a big change, drastic change. So how do you think the shop owner will move away, especially the small shop, due to this rental hard right? Uh, well, um, shop owners, um, they don't, uh, as if they are doing some kind of business which do not give them uh, that kind of money, They nowadays what they are doing is they are uh, sharing the shop lot, subletting half, and some of they make up for the renter. They do subletting. Uh, there was a time where everybody takes the whole shop lot. Today you'll find one shop lot uh, divided into two. So that way they can still make up for the rent. Uh, 